Gear up, Rambo fans, because the legend is back. We're unpacking everything we know about Rambo 6, from new enemies to epic battle. Can Rambo save the day, or what awaits the hero in his next chapter? Let's find out. Rambo is a fictional character created by David Morrell in his 1972 novel First Blood, and popularized by the film adaptation starring Sylvester Stallone. Rambo is a Warren who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD) and struggles to adapt to civilian life. Rambo is portrayed as a tragic hero who fights for justice and freedom, but also a dangerous and unstable individual who causes collateral damage and death. He also feels alienated and rejected by society, which does not appreciate or understand his sacrifices. He is often harassed, discriminated against or betrayed by authorities, who see him as a threat or a liability. He has difficulty forming meaningful relationships or finding a purpose in life. He only trusts his mentor and friend, Colonel Troutman, who trained and knew him better than anyone else. Rambo is a former Green Beret who served in the Vietnam War, where he witnessed and endured horrific atrocities. He has post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, which causes him to have flashbacks, nightmares, and emotional distress. He also feels alienated and rejected by society, which does not appreciate or understand his sacrifices. He is often harassed, discriminated against, or betrayed by the authorities who see him as a threat or a liability. He has difficulty forming meaningful relationships or finding a purpose in life. He only trusts his mentor and friend, Colonel Troutman, who trained and knew him better than anyone else. Rambo is a reluctant hero who is forced to use his skills and weapons to fight against oppressive forces. Rambo does not seek violence or trouble, but is often dragged into conflicts beyond his control. He's usually motivated by duty, honor, justice, or compassion to help those oppressed, exploited, or endangered by powerful enemies. He uses his skills and weapons, which he learned from military training and experience, to fight against overwhelming odds. He is proficient in guerrilla warfare, survival tactics, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and various firearms. He is also resourceful, inventive, and adaptable to different situations and environments. He often improvises his weapons or traps from whatever materials he can find. He is fearless, determined, and unstoppable in pursuing his goals. Colonel Troutman is Rambo's former commanding officer and the only person who can relate to him and calm him down. He is proud of Rambo's achievements and abilities, but worries about his mental health and well-being. He tries to help Rambo by offering advice, support, or opportunities. He sometimes joins Rambo in his missions or rescues him from danger. He also acts as a mediator between Rambo and the authorities, who often misunderstand or oppress him. He defends Rambo's actions and motivates and persuades him to stop fighting or surrender peacefully. Rambo either returns to his solitary life or finds a new place to call home. Rambo does not belong to any society or community. He is a loner who wanders from place to place, looking for peace or redemption. He does not have a family or a home of his own. He sometimes finds temporary companionship or refuge with people who share his values or plight, such as the POWs in Vietnam, the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, the missionaries and rebels in Burma, or his adoptive family in Arizona. However, he often loses them due to death, betrayal, or separation. He then returns to his solitary life by choice or necessity. He sometimes finds a new place to call home, such as the Buddhist monastery in Thailand or the Native American reservation in Arizona. Rambo First Blood 1982 was the first movie in this series where Rambo lives in a small town in Washington to visit his friend who died from cancer due to exposure to Agent Orange. He was arrested and abused by the local sheriff, who triggered his PTSD and caused him to escape and wage a one-man army against the police. He is webbed by his former commander, Colonel Troutman, who tries to persuade him to surrender peacefully. The movie ends with Rambo breaking down and confessing his trauma to Troutman, who takes him into custody. Rambo First Blood Part 2 1985, is the second movie in the series where Rambo is released from prison by Troutman, who often returns to rescue American POWs from a prison camp. However, he discovers that his mission is a cover and that he is superior. He then goes to free the POWs and escape with the help of a female named Rebel Ko Bao, who dies in this process. Hidden Conference kills his betrayer Murdoch Andre and refuses to return to America. He says he only wants whatever wetter and wants their country to love them as much as they love it. 
Rambo 3 1988 is the third movie in the series where Rambo lives in a Buddhist monastery in Thailand, where he participates in stick fighting matches for money. He is visited by Troutman, who asks him to join him in Afghanistan to help the Mujahideen rebels fight against the invading Soviet forces. Rambo initially declines but changes his mind when he learns that the Soviets have captured Troutman. He travels to Afghanistan and teams up with a local rebel leader Musa and a young boy Hamid. He rescues Troutman and destroys a Soviet base with a helicopter. He then decides to stay with the rebels and help them struggle. Rambo 2008 is the fourth movie in the series where Rambo lives in Thailand as a boatman and snake catcher. He is approached by a group of Christian missionaries who want him to transport them to Burma, where they plan to provide medical aid to the Karen people, who are persecuted by a brutal army. Rambo reluctantly agrees but warns them that they will not change anything. The missionaries are captured by the army and tortured. Rambo joins a team of mercenaries hired by their pastor to rescue them. He leads them to the army camp and kills most soldiers with his machine gun. He then joins the Karen rebels in their fight for freedom. He returns to Thailand and decides to go back to America after many years. Rambo Last Blood 2019 is the fifth and latest movie in the series. Rambo lives on a ranch in Arizona with his adoptive family, consisting of his old friend Maria and her granddaughter Gabriella. When Gabriella goes to Mexico to find her biological father, she's kidnapped by a cartel and forced into prostitution. Rambo rescues her but she dies from a drug overdose returning to the US. Rambo then seeks revenge on the cartel, killing most of them in a brutal home invasion. He is severely wounded but survives and rides away on his horse. According to Stallone, the last movie, Rambo Last Blood, was intended to be the final chapter of Rambo's saga. He said, let me just say something about the last of anything. I thought Rocky III was the last, you know? So I don't know anything. If it works, I'll just keep going because I enjoy it so much. However, he also expressed interest in continuing the franchise if Last Blood performs well at the box office. He said, I would love to continue it if it works, if people enjoy it. Last Blood received mixed reviews from critics and audiences and grossed $91.5 million worldwide against a budget of $50 million. It is unclear if these numbers were enough to justify a sequel. However, Stallone has not ruled out the possibility of making Rambo 6. He has also shared his idea of a possible story for Rambo 6, which would be set in the Native American reservation where Rambo lives at the end of Last Blood. According to Stallone, Rambo 6 explores the culture and history of the Native Americans, as well as their conflicts with the government and corporations. He said, I would love to do a film where he goes into their world and sees what it's like. It's a whole different world. It's a mystical, powerful, spiritual world that I think would be fascinating. He also hinted that Rambo 6 could be inspired by the 1992 film Thunderheart, which starred Val Kilmer as an FBI agent investigating a murder on the reservation. Will Rambo's legacy end or will it continue? The anticipation for Rambo 6 is building up and we can't wait to see what's in store for our fearless warrior. Who do you think will join him on this epic mission and can he survive this case that lies ahead? Share your thoughts, like, share and subscribe for more blockbuster updates.